Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Well, since there were so many issues with the logo I had in the bottom corner, I decided to take it out and, well, hopefully this will be better now. So today we are doing a Poppy game, and Poppy is played by Ball Freak 10, and he is here with his friend uh, Lee Sin, and both of them are on Skype. So Lee Sin is going to jungle and Poppy, I don't know yet, we will have to see. So Poppy going for regrowth pendant first, which is a very smart item to go with. Since Poppy has a very nice innate ability, which reduces damage by quite a bit after it exceeds 10% of the current health. Which basically goes for uh, the first 10% of the health is taken off um, and then the, the the rest of the damage basically is uh, reduced by 50 percent so not it's not whenever you damage her for uh, more than 10 percent it is reduced no it is only the amount that exceeds the 10 percent is actually reduced and obviously that doesn't reduce the damage from structures and the only structures there are currently are the towers and maybe the laser on the summoner platform but yeah who goes there anyway um anyway uh, Lee Sin starting at red because he was um uh, CV'd at wolves so I'm not really uh, really sure but we will have to see um yeah, normally Lee Sin starts at uh, red anyway, so it's kind of, yeah, it doesn't really matter. And this is going to be at least a very interesting matchup, because Poppy is going top against Jarvan. And Jarvan, <laughs> yeah, he also started off with the regrowth pendant, but Jarvan is really hard to go up against for any champion. And um, yeah, we will see that uh, Jarvan actually does quite a bit of damage. And especially every first uh, first hit. And Jarvan getting... Wow. <laughs> Quite low. Oh! Oh wow. He did, he did ignite it. And... Oh wow. Only g getting ex executed there. That is excellent play. And so they get uh, a kill. And well they lose one. But only... Uh, due to an execution, which means no uh, experience, no gold for the enemy. And especially the gold is a rather big issue. But here you can see the advantage of having the jungler on your Skype. You can actually get ganks when you need them. And really early on against this, um, uh, this Jarvan, it is really necessary to, well, to get some early ganks. Because if you can uh, out-level him early game, it is a lot, lot easier to deal with him. And especially if you can get better items than he does. So, at the moment it's uh, level 3 versus level 1 here. And if Poppy can keep him away a little bit, obviously. In this game you cannot really deny experience to your, uh, to your enemy. You can deny a little bit with some champions like Cassiopeia. But in general, yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do. And Poppy not taking a whole lot of damage here from uh, from Jarvan. Doing a good job of not attacking him in turret range, which is really important. And um, yeah, the, their jungler is all the way across the map, but Poppy has to be wary of the uh, the enemy jungler. And I think by now, yeah, by now the level almost is the same again, which is kind of the um, disadvantage of this game. Uh, creating a level difference is really hard unless you uh, completely zone out your enemy but yeah that early kill really didn't give him a lot of uh, of additional level where it would have been nice if he could actually out level the uh, the Jarvan and we see those kind of uh, strategies more in other games such as uh, Heroes of New Earth so Jarvan now at 10 and Poppy at 19 so um, Jarvan is uh, creeping a little bit closer now, but is not uh, uh, it, well hasn't ca caught up, obviously. 
And um, Poppy is doing quite a lot of damage here with uh, the Q, it seems. Devastating blow. Um, yeah. So all in all, a good job. Uh, Poppy is really strong. Uh, she's just really underplayed at this moment. And we see a flash going off. And let me follow them. Uh, Poppy is going to die here. Um, yeah, no ward out uh, because, well, she didn't go back yet. And um, yeah. Unfortunately, gets killed as well. So now one kill on... Uh, or oh, one death on both of the uh, the top laners, and I'm not sure who got the kill there. Uh, so both of them are zero, one, and one. And the amount of minions is still in uh, Poppy's favor. Anyway, Poppy coming back in lane. There's not going to be a whole lot of damage done to the turret because Jarvan basically only has a regrowth pendant and that really doesn't help. Well, not a lot anyway. So, um, yeah, Poppy really patiently waiting for all of the last hits, which is excellent. It's uh, what most of the beginning players lack. They start uh, using the auto attack to uh, make sure that they get uh, well, they push the lane as much as possible, but well, the general idea is you don't want to do that. You want to wait for the last hit and get only the last hit in. And there are some exceptions if, for example, two minions are going to die at the same mo moment, then you want to use one of your attacks to, uh, to make sure that you can get both of the last hits. So you can get the, the gold on both of them. And obviously if you just killed your opponent and uh, the death timers have become rather large, which is from level 8 forward or something, then you want to push the lane into the enemy tower. So you can get some damage done on the tower and in the at the same time deny experience and gold to your opponent. But as long as uh, they're in lane or they're coming back in lane really quickly, you basically want to avoid doing that. You want to just get the last hits and push your lane as little as possible because otherwise you will get what we've already seen happen. Well, and now we see it again. Um, yeah, basically the uh, the gang going off here. And the ultimate on, um, on Skarna is not going to help. Well, it's going to help, but it's not going to be enough. And um, unfortunately, Skarner getting a third kill there. Yeah, he did buy a ward, but the ward wasn't placed, so couldn't see Skarner coming there. And yeah, well, that's really, really unfortunate. Jarvan not pushing the lane for some reason. Because this would have been a nice opportunity for him to actually push the lane and uh, get all of the minions in the enemy tower and obviously that is what he's doing now but he is rather late and um, some of the minions will actually live to uh, to get killed by Poppy but still he's doing a good amount of damage on the turret this time and Lee Sin really needs to come and gank Oh, that was the wrong minion. <laughs> yeah, I could have gotten both there. Anyhow, um, yeah, really, we're going back to reset positions here on the lane, or just about reset positions. It's just that the um, the minion wave from Poppy is a little bit bigger than that from Jarvan. And for those of you who ha who are having trouble last hitting with uh, champions early in the game, Jarvan would be a good champion for you. Either that or you can uh, just get runes that get additional attack damage. Or both. You can also go for attack damage runes on Jarvan and that way <laughs> you will never have that problem. 
And Jarvan going a little aggressive here on Poppy. He can because he's pretty tanky. And uh, unfortunately that's what Poppy now realizes. That Jarvan is uh, really hard to kill. And especially if uh, Skarner comes in at the same time. It is really hard to deal with. So doing a good job here of last hitting even though he got killed twice because he overextended. So, yeah, really, with Poppy, it's easy to overextend, obviously, because you don't have a real escape. Yeah, you have your ultimate, I guess, as an escape. But that really doesn't work too well. I mean, your ultimate shouldn't be used as an escape. It should be used as a way to kill someone uh, in third range or in a team fight. And yeah, Poppy is building some uh, some mana for now, so I'm not sure yet if uh, Poppy will be building a P or a D. Um, it's probably in the title, so you guys already know, because I normally put it in the title. And by now it's five and eight, so the team is not doing too hot. Uh, Skarner once again coming in for a gank, this time in mid, and it seems that uh, Lee Sin is now in the fight with the uh, jungler as well. They both have red buff, so that should be interesting to say the least. And here on top, uh, we are just continuing with, uh, well, with the standard stuff of uh, harassing each other and, uh, well, Jarvan just coming out on top most of the time. Because he has, well, he has a shield, he has his, um, his innate ability that does, ad does additional damage and unfortunately for Poppy uh, the innate ability of reduced damage doesn't really kick in yet because the damage from Jarvan is too low to get reduced damage from that. It is mainly against uh, AP champions AP champions uh, that do a lot of burst damage for example because they would need multiple spells to get rid of the last 50%. So the first 50% can probably be done with like one spell. And then the next 50% you have to use like three other spells to uh, to actually do that damage. And well that's the trick. Uh, Poppy is really good against those kind of champions. But she's really weak against champions like... Um, uh, Singed who do little amount of damage but well all the time. Basically all the damage over time champions are really hard to deal with on Poppy. Because, well, she gets her tankiness from her ability to withstand big amounts of, uh, of damage. And usually, yeah, you don't see those in, la in the top lane, you see those in the mid lane. But yeah, playing Poppy in the mid lane is really risky. Because <laughs> it's even easier to gank than... Um, than the top lane. And yeah, Jarvan using his shield to uh, to stay alive in this. And yeah, Poppy doing the good job of just harassing whenever the shield drops and then backing ba back out. And at this point, going to be really aggressive and come on, getting the kill. No. No! Wow. Come on, flash. Flash and kill. Yeah, just... There we go. Finally. <laughs> now waited for the, uh, the cooldowns, obviously. And maybe whether or not the enemy jungler was coming. But a good job. Good job. And now, going back or should be going back uh, to buy a new ward and buy some items because with 2200 gold you can afford some pretty nice items so mid lane is deserted, top lane is deserted and we will be watching for a minute what's happening here and so is Poppy apparently but everyone is still uh, at a good amount of health and there's... oh there's a ward in that bush that is such a shame Lee almost getting out, but yeah, well, against four champion champions, that is a really hard thing to do. 
And with this much CC, it's even harder to do. Anyhow, Poppy is going to the top lane. Uh, is keeping an eye on this apparently, because that's why we could see the health bars. And a lot of damage going off on the Alistar, although, yeah, unfortunately we cannot see if he's actually low. But Nunu does have his hul ultimate, and um, yeah, we're not going to see anything out of that. So Jarvan uh, not in lane at the moment. And he was here, at the, well, just a minute ago. But yeah, nothing was going to happen there. And we are just seeing Poppy do some nice last hitting at 95 now against the Jarvan who's at 56 so definitely winning this lane even though well she has uh, oh no she has one kill and Jarvan has zero kills never mind she got killed uh, early game but that really doesn't matter getting a nice stun off here and is she actually going to take out Jarvan because yeah there we go and this brand is dead as well <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. And yeah, unfortunately, Skarner is getting rather fed here. Um, he is at 8 <laughs> 0. Wow. That is. Wow. Yeah, and Skarner, a really fat Skarner, is hard to deal with because he has a good damage, he has a nice CC, and basically he can destroy the whole team in a team fight because he's so impossible to uh, to destroy to kill and yeah that is why um, Skarner is such a good jungler because he has excellent ganks but he can also use the money pretty well so even if he gets fed like this uh, it's not a waste some junglers it's just a waste to get a lot of kills on them and well one of those is Shivana because Shivana really cannot own uh, in a team fight. She can own in a 1v1 situation. And um, if she gets fed, it's almost impossible to kill her. But yeah, you can just run away from her. I mean, there's nothing she can do except run after you, but then the rest of the team cannot follow. But Jarvan, or not Jarvan, um, yeah, same goes for Jarvan, but um, Skarner can actually just CC. The, it the opponent. No. Oh, making a mistake there. Oh, wow. Getting an immediate kill here. Oh, yeah, the um, the uh, Sheen will help a lot with that. And no shield going off from the Lee Sin on, uh, on Poppy. Yeah, and I th still think Poppy should have ran that way when she saw Skarner. She would have gotten out of that and um, yeah, this way it's a one for one trade, I guess, which is still okay, but Lee Sin might die here. And. Oh, Lee Sin making a big mistake once again. Has to go to his, uh, his allied champion. And. Yeah, he's not going to, uh, to manage to do that. He should have gone uh, with his Q to one of the enemy minions and then immediately with the shield to Ari. But Ari, not a very good champion here. Don't know what her score is at this moment. Uh, she is currently 0 and 5 with 64 minions. Yeah, that is not very good. Obviously, everyone should be at around 110 now, and the only one managing to do so is, um, well, not even Skarner. Brand is pretty close, I guess, but still 20 minions off. And yeah, 20 minions is uh, about 500 gold, so that's two kills. And um, yeah, no, Poppy, just leave it, dude. Oh, what? What? How did that do so much damage? Or did Poppy just use a skill at the exact same time? Because he doesn't have anything. He has 20 HP, uh, AP. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how that worked. <laughs> but it did work. So, nicely done.
Hi Nunu. <laughs> Not a whole lot Poppy can do, could do there. Uh, Poppy is going to run out here. Is probably going to need to flash. And no, no, no. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, the uh, the jungler coming in to help out. And yeah, the Poppy uh, Poppy ultimate there used as an escape tool. Nicely done, uh, tagging the uh, the Jarvan with it. Because Jarvan was already running away from the fight and therefore was a safe target to uh, to use. And that is excellent. Huh. Yeah, anyway, we are going to go to the mid lane for a moment because top lane, yeah, while well Poppy is still running into the lane. And here is a rather big team fight going off. And I think Alistar will die. No. He's still alive, but yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Jarvan is once again missing, so we won't be focusing on that for now. Yeah, a little, uh, little bit of posing there from the uh, enemy jungler. But Skarner is really, really strong now. And a nice Ash arrow. That should result in a kill. And there should be another kill coming from this. But Vayne has now showed up. And Vayne should be the, uh, well, the desired target. But yeah, apparently <laughs> Skarner is just too fed. And yeah, it's hard to deal with, obviously. Oh, nice, um, well, attempt at uh, getting Ari. Oh, uh, Ari is actually going to die out of this. Wow. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, Skarner is definitely the problem here, as we see Poppy coming into this fight, finally able to join in. And um, yeah, the only one we can still spot is Jarvan here. And well, th the the blue team now needs to get Dragon at least a couple of times to make up for the uh, amount they are behind. Well, especially the amount of killing power to kill the Skarner because well Skarner is pretty much the only one that is powerful on the enemy team but they cannot kill him at this moment he is too tanky he has a lot of damage a lot of uh, uh, speed especially with his speed buff and uh, the Trinity Force yeah that is going to be amazingly hard to deal with or to kill at least. Um, yeah, once again, top lane is uh, deserted, so there is no uh, Jarvan in sight, which means that Poppy gets uh, to farm a little bit and has been doing a good job. And I keep telling that, but people still don't seem to understand how important that is. It is so important that you actually keep up with your farm. And by now, by the way, we have a death fire grasp, which means that there's some additional damage. It's all magic damage, hence the magic uh, penetration shoes, sorcerer's shoes. And oh my god, it's kind of getting another kill. Yeah, by now, I guess uh, the scorpion is. Uh, kind of there to stay for the rest of the game it doesn't matter what you do he's just not going to die and um, yeah I think this was a mistake on the enemy team's part but oh <laughs> tagging the, the Skarner there with the ultimate but that is not going to work out too well Yeah, I should have tagged the Alistar and then gone for that, maybe. Or even ran out. 
but at least the team picks up uh, the kills, so I guess that's worth it. <laughs> I don't know if Skarnor actually died there. Yes, he did. So that's the first one. First time he actually uh, died. And maybe at some point, yeah, instead of tagging, the, uh, getting the minions here, they seem to be going for the turret only. That is not smart. Obviously, you would get the turret anyway, uh, maybe with the next wave, but... Yeah, the, the minions give you way more gold as a champion. So Ash should have gone for the last hits on those minions and then they still would have gotten that uh, that turret kill. But now they lost, well it's only like, I don't know, 70 gold, but still, se it's 70 gold. Um, so where's Poppy? Top. And Nunu is going uh, back to do whatever. He was holding the lane a little bit, getting the last hits. No. Poppy missing some last hits here. <laughs> getting a little bit too greedy. And yeah, dude, just get the double golems. Or get these minions, that's good too. Javan is now in the lane, so we might finally see some... Uh, no, not a confrontation between the two. I think Poppy would come out on top at this point. Early game I would have to give it to uh, to Jarvan. And Jarvan is just going to escape here. Um, what was that? Why didn't you just engage? Well, anyway. So Nunu is going to come in from behind and um, oh, they don't get anything done here. <laughs> Nunu not getting his damage done on, on any of the two, on either of the two. And no, they're not going to survive this as they keep chasing. And yeah, <laughs> Ash actually dying there to Vayne. Even though Vayne was nowhere near anymore. At least I think she was nowhere near. Ah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, they get another turret. They get uh, two kills for two, I think. A uh, two for one. Okay. And Ash shouldn't have died there, but... Yeah, as soon as they kill Skarner or get Skarner out of the fight, they basically have to fight. And they should really go for... Uh, this brand who is really low because if he misses his stun or if you go in with three champions then basically he's dead but it's still 19 to 25 so there's still six skills behind is there anyone who is zero and something yeah Ari gave a lot of kills away which is good because um, if you are zero and seven Basically, you only gave away like, I don't know, seven, eight hundred gold. Uh, no, it's, it's a little more, but let's say a thousand gold, which would be equal to three normal kills. No, it's, it's not a thousand gold. It used to be a thousand gold. But I don't know. I, I don't remember. Uh, there's a video on it. A feeder's calculation, in case you want to uh, look it up. It's on my channel somewhere. It's uh, for with the old gold system. I should redo it. But, yeah, it's a lot of work to make one. <laughs> That's why I have been postponing it until I was sure that they would keep up this, uh, this system. And by now I am sure. Oh, yeah, well, they're not going for the minions once again. So... Once again, losing out on two minion waves here. Oh, finally Ash is going to focus down the minions a little bit. But yeah, this was kind of stupid. Now they need to get... Uh, yeah, they get, need to get Skarner. And as soon as Skarner drops... Yeah, this is over. They, they've got this team fight. And he already used his... Um, so the, the... What's his name? the Minotaur 
Alistar, yeah. The Alistar already used his ultimate, so he was a really easy target. And now they can just basically go to mid and clean up. And that's what these two are going to do. I don't know what the rest is doing here. They're chasing after champions they cannot find anyway. And yeah, losing a whole lot of experience in all of the lanes. Nobody stopped, nobody was mid. And well, they do get a kill on this uh, this dude, which is another, I don't know, 500 gold at max. But yeah, losing all of these minions is way more gold. But Dragon just came up. Enemy also CVing it. And um, yeah, they don't have to be afraid of anyone except for Skarner. And Skarner is up, and Jarvan is coming here. Hang on, it's 5, 4, 5, and 3. You can find out whatever is the most useful build on her. Because I have no clue. So Nunu taking the risky route home. Oh, but they're not even completing the <laughs> risky route. And going back into the jungle. Yeah, that wasn't really, really smart. <coughs> but anyway, uh, they are going to steal the blue buff here, it seems. And it seems that uh, Alistar is happy to buy more oracles. So, anyway, we're now in the situation where people should start to group up and um, try to, well, gank, well, not gank, but uh, team fight. And they should be going for Baron, so they should ward Baron and just go for it. And if the enemy team comes, you should have wards out to spot them and, well, you should kill them. You know when Dragon is going to be up because they killed it. And um, yeah, they should know. So there is an Oracle on Nunu now. And Alistar is going to die here, I'm assuming, after his Oracle, w uh, his ultimate wears off. And yeah, that was really not the way to play that. Skarner getting focused once again. And nice damage on Vayne, and as I said, Alistar was going to die. He uh, completely engaged that, well, he engaged that completely wrong. And <laughs> Vayne also dying, and there was still a <laughs> an ultimate on Skarner, but because he wasn't in the team fight at all, he basically couldn't do anything. And Nunu, get out, dude. Oh, this is so risky. Yeah, unfortunately, they lose the uh, the oracles as well. <laughs> oh, Nunu, what were you doing, dude? Yeah, Alistar used his ultimate before he actually got damaged, and you should never do that because you're losing precious seconds while people can just focus somebody else. And you're not doing anything with your ultimate then. You have it on, so you're reducing the damage by like 70%. But that doesn't help if you're not getting attacked. So anyway, um, not having the best of engages there, that made the enemy team lose that team fight. And they should keep doing this, well the blue team should keep doing this. But they should also ward Baron, because, well, they should actually just go for Baron. The enemy team cannot stop them. Oh, that damage, man! What? Oh, the little help from Lee Sin there. Little help from Lee Sin. Lee Sin grabbing the... Um, uh, the assist on that, which is uh, which is good, it adds 70% more gold to the kill, 
which is excellent. And yeah, Baron has been done. And that is uh that's a shame. Yeah, as I said before, they should have warded that. They should have made sure that they got Baron. Uh, well, they are the much stronger team. Because if they can focus Garner uh, a little bit even. So even for like two seconds, uh, just launching a spell each. Then he gets down to about half health. And there's not a whole lot he can do from there on. But now with the Baron buff, he is way too strong. And it's better not to engage that. But obviously Baron buff will wear off, it's about 3 minutes I think, and after that they will be fine again. And especially if they keep uh, staying around here, yeah unfortunately you, you cannot see the uh, amount of Baron that's left. Because that would be giving away the time when it was actually killed. And um, yeah, that would give information to the enemy team that they don't necessarily have. Anyhow, if you keep track of when the Baron buff, uh, well, is removed from the enemies, then you know when the Baron is dead as well, assuming that you know how long the Baron buff is. And yeah, I said three minutes, but it might as well be four minutes or two minutes or two and a half minutes. Or I don't know, because I really don't. And you can see it from this replay, you saw when they killed Baron, or just about when they killed Baron, and um, you can see it from any replay. And who got that blue buff? Oh, the enemy team did. The Brand actually got the blue buff, and that's a shame, because Brand with blue buff is really good. But he does die easily to AP Poppy. And are they actually going to get Dragon here? Wow, enemy team. Oh, now coming in. Okay. Sure. And Nunu not with his ultimate. He has been using his ultimate to get uh, the damage done in this situation all the time. But I guess not this time. Come on, Poppy. Run out. And here you see the strength of uh, of Poppy, <laughs> just uh, leaving the damage uh, or leaving it so that uh, only Alastar could damage her, and um, making sure that well she could just run out, run out, dashing to some uh, random minion, and getting out of there. So anyhow, we uh, we now see the whole team <laughs> retreating to the base, and Baron Buff has worn off now, which is excellent news. That means that now the blue team is stronger again, but they did lose uh, two thirds and some kills, which means that the enemy team did get some extra golds and. Well, they basically didn't. Because they didn't do a whole lot in that time, unfortunately. <laughs> and Dragon was still up. Yeah, they were a little too late on getting the Skarner, because Skarner has no escapes. So they could have killed him. But, well, apparently they did not. No, there's the ultimate. And Poppy running out, even though that was not really necessary, could have killed the the Vane. The Vane actually escaped at very, very low HP. Yeah. 
So it's now 26 to 27 in kills, and that basically means they came back from huge deficit in the beginning of the game. Because by now, it should be, well, relatively straightforward to win. It is still only Skarner, I think at least, that is um, that is fat. Um, that red buff is not for, uh, for Lee Sin, dude. Lee Sin already had one. Oh, Ash was going to get it. Um, yeah, I guess this guy, the Fane, is also pretty fat. But only 110 minions. That's not a spectacular versus the 220 and 200. So at this point, oh, Brand, hang on. Brand only has 4 kills but has 200 minions. So I guess that's better. But. Yeah, it's really still only Skarner that they should be afraid of. The rest can be focused down pretty easily. So Skarner should just be kept out of the team fight a little bit. And after that, it's okay. And of course, yeah, you always need to be wary of the ultimates from Jarvan. But, oh, Jarvan is dropping quite quickly. And yeah, this... Um, was again the wrong way to do that on Alistar and Alistar might actually die again oh Vayne is going to die that is nice because that is a lot of damage that's not going to be dealt uh, Skarner dying here and now this is a matter of just cleaning up making sure that the weak ones don't die and there we go 10 and 4 Poppy now, and yeah, they got uh, 4 more kills out of that than uh, the enemies. So, yeah, focusing Nunu on the enemy's part, not the best idea. What is Nunu doing with the Hackstack Revolver? I thought he was going to build that Amplifying Tome into something useful, like a gold item. But apparently it went for <laughs> Hackstack Revolver, which doesn't do a whole lot for him because he doesn't have a lot of damage so, well he has a lot of damage on his ultimate I guess and on his Q uh, which is the ice blast I think that's his Q no the Q is actually never mind the Q is the heal the consume the E is the ice blast Yeah, and Alistar apparently has no idea how to um, engage a fight. Uh, obviously on the enemy team it would be better if Skarner started to fight. Because Skarner can just drag them into their team. Then Alistar can uh, pulverize and headbutt them even further away from the team. And then basically you have one kill already for zero. Well, really easily. And then you have a 4v5 fight where you do miss uh, one ultimate. I mean, the Skarner ultimate has been used then. But the Pulverize and Headbutt will come up again in that team fight. If you're uh, smart enough. Ash now with the Guardian Angel, which is an excellent item. And enemy once again going for Baron. And once again getting it so yeah obviously it's not a good deal to uh, to engage there but I wonder if the uh, the enemy team is now going to engage properly in this fight. Because they did split, uh, split up just here. And yeah, this is not good. This Alistar is now just dead. Oh, he actually used his flash to get out. No, that's not his flash. Oh, he used his headbutt to get in. Yeah. He, uh, he used his headbutt to get in and his flash to get out. They don't realize they can be seen there, apparently. But they are all grouped up together, so it's not a good thing to engage there. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, the whole enemy team is now in mid lane or around mid lane. Doing this, this Nunu doing a good job of uh, of warding spots. And the enemy team don't doesn't have an oracles anymore. Oh, they do. Then why didn't they take out that ward? Yeah, you can still be spotted, dudes. It's very unfortunate that they couldn't get that um, Alistar when he uh, got into their base. Yeah, Poppy deciding it's it's been long enough. Let's just do some damage. And apparently having the good idea there, but they're not focusing brands. Oh, there we go, finally. And now Alistar is going to die because Alistar doesn't have an uh, ultimate anymore. Come on, kill him. But yeah, all the rest <laughs> are going to die as well. Oh, nice arrow there from Ash. And yeah, she deserved that kill. They won't focus you, Poppy. No, obviously not. Because Poppy is really just a pretty picture. She doesn't do any damage, man. Not any real damage. I mean, yeah, Lich Bane and, and all of these skills with like 400 AP. Now that doesn't do anything. Yeah, guys, just get the turrets and um, let's finish this. They're now 5 kills ahead, actually. Where they were in the beginning, something like 5 kills behind. And AB Poppy having a big, big amount of the, well, the credit for that. Big part in the game here. Um, obviously, normally AP Poppy doesn't do this well. Because if she did, she would be played way more. But if you get fed, then you can do a large amount of damage. Oh, that was a huge amount of damage on that, uh, on that Ari. And they should really just run out. No, Vayne actually too st too uh, too fast, but they do get the Vayne, which is excellent. How did Poppy not get an assist on that? Oh, because the ultimate is not uh, slow or something like that. Oh, come on, get out, Ari, for once. Yep, there we go, Ari getting killed. And these two should be able to get out because they have Nuna's speed buff. And... Yep, they do get out. They are going to lose a turret now. Because even though Vayne is dead, the Poppy is also dead. <laughs> and Poppy probably has the most gold on this team at the moment, although Ash is probably a pretty close second. Might also be number one there. And they are going to lose an inhibitor. No. And Ash actually just split pushing here. That is uh, different. <laughs> we never see Ash <laughs> split pushing. But Ash is just going to own Vayne here and is just going to kill some turrets. Oh, how did they not get that? <laughs> oh, he should have, uh, the, the Lee Sin should have just used his auto attack on that. <laughs> but instead wanted to do something fancy with his skills and <laughs> failed. <laughs> failed to keep uh, Alistar in the, in the fight. Ash eventually dying, but did take out one turret. An inhibit and an inhibitor, and now that she took out a second turret, actually, well, it's not entirely her, but because of her, it actually worked. So she took out a tower, I think, a tower, an inhibitor, and then these two towers. That is, yeah, that is quite excellent. Um, how did you miss that? 
anyway, they get an easy dragon, because dragon really doesn't scale over time. So, the dragons early game are really hard to get, and then late game everybody can just, well, sneeze at him and uh, he dies. Which is a shame, because if Dragon would be a uh, hard to kill target in the end game as well, it would be really more interesting to have the Dragon fights, because then it would take more than like one second. Because if you just stand here with your whole team, the second Dragon spawns, it is a one or two second job. and the enemy team cannot really do anything about it so if you go and sweep the area in the minute before dragon spawns and the enemy team doesn't come to dragon then yeah that's it basically um, Poppy now has probably a full build and um, yeah it's going for the red pot and the blue pot and the oracles elixir and basically doesn't have anything left to spend money on. Yeah. It's a shame, uh, I'm not sure if Baron is back up by the way. It uh, it does show the Baron miniature on the minimap. But I'm not actually sure. <laughs> All of those oracles man. They have three oracles on the team. That's pretty crazy. So if the enemy doesn't have a ward up, then why not just go for it? They've lost the previous two because they just refused to go for Baron. And Poppy is completely out of position here. So Vayne immediately dropping to Poppy and uh, Poppy is going to get some more damage done at least. Oh, nicely done. Getting the Jarvan and of course getting the Alistar because, well, whatever. Alistar really doesn't matter anymore. I don't know what he's building by the way. Yeah, he's building some good big items but doesn't really have anything to deal with this enemy team. He's using his ultimate uh, in the wrong spots every time. So apparently another inhibitor goes down due to the uh, Lee Sin <laughs> just pushing this. And they get an easy Baron because finally they did go for Baron. And they killed the enemy team. So, yeah, well, let's just see the final push now. Uh, at least, well, they need to clear up this main wave a little bit. Because they did lose uh, one inhibitor and the enemy lost two, but... It doesn't always mean that your lanes are going to win. And if the inhibitor respawns, then all of the lanes will push. Obviously, with two inhibitors down, your minions get a bigger advantage than the enemy minions. So, your lanes will normally push in the enemy direction. And hopefully this will be the last push we will see. Because this game is won now. 41 to 34. And yeah, once again they split off from the team. Don't do that. Just keep pushing the same lane. There's no reason to do this. Because if you get distracted from what you were doing, then you get these kind of actions where one of the <laughs> team goes in and the rest of the team just stays in the jungle or even goes back. Poppy, don't go back, dude. Well, yeah, they're just going to destroy this uh, this Nexus now. Lee Sin getting uh, distracted a little bit by the enemy champions, but might as well just attack the uh, the Nexus. Uh, 
and there we go. Finally. Ah, so, interesting match, at least the comeback. Yeah, we haven't seen that uh, in a while, because normally when uh, Skarna gets fed like that, he completely dominates the team. Fortunately, this team understood that once they took out Skarner, they would be able to win any team fight. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. So good focus there. Uh, killing the uh, the enemy champion that was the most uh, damaging, even though he is tanky. Because the focus the tank rule is really not a rule. It's for really, really low ELO players or beginners to understand which champions they should focus first. But basically you just take out the champion who is either the the easiest to kill, so basically the one that you can reach, or the one that does the most damage, even when he's harder to reach. As long as you can see a champion and you can reach him, you should try to kill them. Or as uh, one of the uh, Mo Moscow 5 team said, see champion, kill champion. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. GG.